Oh my God, it's so clear. <laughs> yeah. Sicily is absolutely stunning so far, so it's the morning. We're about to leave to go and get the boat taken out, which is rather exciting, but we just thought we'd have a swim. Last swim off the boat. The last swim off the boat as it currently is. If anyone, whilst you're, whilst you're watching the progress, if anyone has any tips or if we're doing anything wrong or if there's, if there's a key aspect to something that we're missing, please let us know. Yeah. Like it's, it's crucial that we don't, we don't get it back in the water. And make and, any same mistake. Yeah, oh my God, no, God. Oh, he, that's right, go on. I was just going to say about the um, anti-foul has all come off, hasn't it? Oh yeah, all the anti-foul, so that's a big one. If anyone can recommend an anti-foul for a steel hull, um, yeah, that's a biggie. Yeah. The, all the anti-foul has started flaking off and in like big chunks. It's like, it's not small. And I sanded it back a bit as well. I gave it a rough sand so it had a key. Yeah. Maybe maybe it reacted badly with the previous anti-foul. Maybe. Now I'm saying that. But we didn't do our research on which anti-foul to get or anything. No, we literally went to the local shop. And said, we have a steel hull. Yeah. He just hit was like, steel, metal, metal. And he's like, ah, boat. And I was like, yes, the, mm. the bottom part. He goes, ah, agua. I was like, yes, agua, boat. <laughs> <laughs> also on this anti-foul, so this is actually the anti-foul itself. Everything seems to stick to it. Uh, we have loads of rubbish on the anti-foul. I clean this probably every two days. You'll see it when it gets taken out of the water. It's, it's got stuff mm. on it. And that was from like two or three days ago. Yeah. Um, so any anti-foul, I know that some anti-fouls, just nothing ever sticks to it. Um, for a steel hull, a good anti-foul with that, nothing wants to stick on it or live on it, please let us know. That'd be amazing. Right. We're going to go over there, eight miles away, eight nautical miles. Yeah, I'm amazed it's that It far. looks so close. <laughs> it looks like just over there. Oh, the power plants, that's a shame. Yeah. Oh. Last time lifting up the anchor. Yeah. Hopefully. We look at this, a massive safety hazard as well. If there's a storm and we need to lift our anchor up, mm. there's no way I can do this safely. Like, I have to leave the helm to do this. This should be like a, a last resort kind of thing. <laughs> I know. And I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this by no, myself. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't. I was incapacitated. You needed to get the anchor up to move the boat. Yeah. I mean, you do have the the the, the man like this. this one yeah. here. We have the pole for it. But it's it's seriously slow. It takes like a few minutes to get the anchor up and if you're in a storm that's no good. wash my hair and get the salt water out of it. Hey, It's just the beach where we're going. 
Yeah. So the the boatyard is like you know like Elios. Yeah. The boatyard is like B C. Does he know B. that we got a sailboat? Yeah, I told him. Okay. <laughs> Not just a normal paddle. I said a nine meter, uh, yeah, nine meter sailboat, one point five draft. Okay. Oh right, yeah, no. Fine. close to this which you kind of are but it's super industrial just here just all the cargo ships a little bit ugly I'm not gonna lie but um, and then you look over there yeah and the, the side is stunning. I don't know if you can ah. see that but yeah it's the like castle on top calm. lucky with the weather because it's still nice and warm mm. the sea's really calm yeah we've been really lucky the last few days you yeah, really have like last night it was only a rocky just a little bit but oh barely although <laughs> Obviously yesterday we started our day at 4am. I think we were asleep by half seven eight. I don't remember going to sleep. No, me neither. I think it was well definitely by eight o'clock we were asleep. Definitely. I woke up at twelve and I looked at the clock and I was like, ah, oh, it's only twelve. <laughs> yeah, so we did we just realised I think we're getting put on the beach. I think we're actually being Dragged by a tractor or dragged something. Dragged by a tractor out because there's no way a crane can get to us. Uh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, there's no way a crane can get to us. Let's see where it is. Yeah, the yard the is on the beach. And as much as it's open, I much prefer that. Well, the last place in a uh, Cretone. Yeah. Cretone, um, the, <laughs> it was super, super like industrial. Industrial. It was on tarmac, which I know is really normal, but. It, it was we had like this police gated off area mm. so we had to um check in with the police we'd check out with the police it was just it was horrible instead we're on the beach here which is lovely I, that's much more my style yeah we were just saying that we're really excited because it's like we're getting all the work done and this is obviously what we want but all of a sudden it's like oh god our stomach like yeah. my stomach keeps dropping I just feel really weird you, that you just care about like, I'm a bit sad about it. Yeah, I just feel really weird that yeah, we'll be staying in a hotel and I think for the last like the last few weeks, um, we've kind of realised how I know we had a tough start and I know we had a, a kind of a few bad days really. Got really comfortable waking up on the boat. I mean, our mornings consist of us waking up, deciding. How many coffees are we going to have before we decide to get out of bed? And then, should we leave today or should we stay here today? And it's usually like, oh, we'll think about it tomorrow. And that's as hard as our as, as that's as hard as our decisions have got at the moment. Tell me how you can beat it. I think you can. done that was so smooth <laughs> a little bit terrified I'm gonna fall off though. Yeah. 
Huh? Yeah, buongiorno. <laughs> uh, well done, you did a really good job. The old heart rate is a... <laughs> What's up, I'm proud of that. Jesus, man. That was insane. We went on, like, I, I thought we were, we were turning because we had the wind coming from behind us. And I thought that the boat was turning towards the, I don't know what you call it, sled kind of thing. I did try to find out, but I couldn't find out. Um, but uh, yeah, no, we kind of went on perfectly. And then they just like, keep giving it power, keep giving it power. Cause um, but I gave everything I could and it barely moved. Yeah, we got on. <laughs> what do you feel It's the guy. Does it all come off then? Yeah, it's like... Oh! <laughs> it's... Thin. No, I got it. No, I got it. Chloe! Oh, it's a danger. <laughs> this one. This yeah. one. This so, one and... We... We... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Fight. Yeah. yeah. Really? So we've just uh, got the boat in. There she is, look. The boat is on the hard. <laughs> we did manage to do it. Uh, it was a little bit of um, yeah, a bit of a nervous thing, really. And after looking at it, the paint, the anti-foul we put on, it's just, it's awful. So um, as I said before, anyone who's got some really good tips on good anti-fouls, for steel, please, please do shout because, yeah, all this is bad. And under here, look at that, that, that was bare steel. That all came off. So I'm pretty, pretty chuffed that I'm taking it out now because, yeah, I put rubbish stuff on. I know that now. Um, I'm just in a lucky situation to know it before we leave it in the water for several years. But we also need to put some anodes on, a, on the rudder. We have basically got four dogs that protect the yard. And they're like, you can sleep here, but the dogs will bark at you. And there's one that will bite you. <laughs> and it's like, good, good, good. <laughs> but it's at the front gate. So we have to walk down the side of the boat. So you, could, you just saw us walk down the side of the boat and then to the gate because that way the one at the main entrance won't bite you. Good. Morning people. So this is our first morning waking up in the in the um, boatyard. Actually it's, it's really nice to be fair. There was I they woke up quite early but 
they were careful around the boat, which is really nice. But I thought I'd give you a little tour of what they'd done this morning. So here's what we woke up to. Apart from everything else, I'm tiptoeing around us. They'd done this, to be fair, at like 10 o'clock. So, yeah, they've jet washed absolutely everything. We're going to put some more anodes. We're going to replace it with the anodes. And we're going to put some more on the rudder. <laughs> That's disgusting now, how we've been living for the last couple of months. Yeah, no we've, judging. We've been... Everything is changing.